Biden's plan to save student loans is here, but will it survive legal charges? Recent Fed survey shows banks are becoming stingier in handing out cash, and former President Donald Trump's political committee spent more than $40 million on lawyer fees as his legal perils mount. These are the top three headlines in this week's weekly business briefs. First up, new payment, lowering plan for student loans just dropped, according to The Morning Brew. Applications are opened for the SAVE plan, an income-driven repayment option that will replace the popular repay plan President Biden's hopes is it will help out the federal borrower's impact when the Supreme Court struck down its more ambitious student loan forgiveness program in June. The SAVE plan is estimated to cost between $138 billion and $361 billion over 10 years. But first, it might get hit with the kinds of lawsuits that sank Biden's $400 billion loan forgiveness program. More than 60 Republican lawmakers tried to push the education secretary to withdraw the new repayment plan and the program's opponents say legal challenges are likely to be on the way. My thoughts on this, I think that having some type of loan forgiveness, I don't think all of it would be a good thing for American. The challenge is that a lot of Americans and these young kids, the young kids that are going to college have no idea what they're getting themselves into. Their society tells us that we have to go to college, get a degree. And while I'm a big believer in education, I just don't believe necessarily that we should be pushing our kids to going into debt. Let me know your thoughts on that in the comments and let me know what you think about this. Next up, U.S. banks report tighter credit, weaker loan demand in recent Fed survey reported by Rudders. U.S. banks reported tighter credit standards and weaker loan demand for both businesses and consumers during the second quarter. Federal Reserve survey data released on Monday showed evidence that the central bank's interest rate hike campaign is slowing the nation's financial gears as intended. The Fed's quarterly senior loan officer opinion survey, or SLOGS, also showed that banks expected to further tight standards over the rest of 2023. Three, my goodness, if they tighten up more, it's going to get hard out here, guys. It's rough out there. Have you tried going to get a mortgage or commercial loan these days? It is not easy. It is not fun. While these banks are in the business of lending money, they are certainly making it significantly harder to go out and get a loan. It used to take me 60 days to close on the deal. Now it's taking me 90 days to close on the deal. It is significantly harder to close on loans. And I'm talking about a refinance as an investor. And lastly, the Trump PAC has spent more than $40 million on legal costs this year for himself. Reported by PBS, Donald Trump's mounting legal woes are growing more expensive, leading the campaign to request a refund from the supportive PAC and launch a new legal defense fund to help cover costs according to media reports. His political action committee, Save America, is expected to disclose Monday that it spent more than $40 million on legal fees during the first half of the year for costs related to defending the former president, his aides, and other allies, according to the person familiar with filing, who spoke on the condition of anonymity before the deadline. This is crazy, man. This is absolutely crazy that the country is just going after Trump so hard, so hard, so hard and fast. And look, I'm not saying he's innocent. I don't know. I can't say for sure. But what I know is, as a thinking, logical person is, why is the government going after this guy so hard and so fast? And this is a, an ex-president. This is a, a presidential candidate right now. This is actually kind of embarrassing to our country, in my opinion. I'd like to know, what is your thoughts on the SAVE plan that Biden is, is putting out? And what's your experience recently with the banks as mine hasn't been that great? And will you help fund Trump's new legal defense fund? Share your thoughts down in the comments and let's discuss. And this has been your weekly business brief. I'll see you guys next week. And remember to like and subscribe to keep up with the latest business update. Appreciate you guys. Peace.